Hello YouTubers, Cornwall here, thank you for joining me for a new video today uh, and today we've got a look at the uh, your wheel setup in Forza Motorsport 6 uh, it's going to be a pretty quick video um, with a couple of tips in it for you so uh, without further ado let's get into it um, so you've got your main menu just here uh, and the first thing you want to do to ensure that the wheel um, isn't going to have any issues. There's been a lot of people reporting on forums and, and, and I've had these issues myself uh, and it's and it's thanks to Milch, one of the guys on the forums that advised me to do this. Um, and what was happening is, is when I was using the wheel, um, I'd go to shift up a gear and it'd look back and just wouldn't work right and I'd have to unplug it and plug it back in and then it'd happen again. Um, and what it is, it's because the wheel isn't the primary controller. So what you need to do, once you're on this menu, is press back and then press back again. Once you get to the Ford GT picture, which is this, you then need to press A on your wheel. Um, and if it comes up asking you to select your profile, you do that. And then it makes the wheel the primary controller. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. I'll be back in one second. So it didn't pop up with the uh, profile uh, selection for me um, I think that's because I'd already done it um, but once you're in you can press A on your controller to skip past this bit uh, and you're good to go so if you use the right bumper to go across to options go down to controller and wheel press A and hey presto that's your wheel uh, and then you can you can tweak things from there uh, the layout I've left as standard rumble obviously on but that's to do with force feedback anyway uh, I've left the gears as they are in terms of switching it and the handbrake and clutch uh, it automatically puts it uh, at A but just check that it is A uh, unless you want to change that around yourself uh, and everything else is default and we just need to press X uh, and then that brings up the option menus um, so uh, there's not a lot different here uh, to the wheel apart from uh, sorry to compared to the controller apart from wheel specific uh, alterations which we'll get to at the bottom um, so your dead zone your inside dead zones for everything are set to zero. Um, I don't use clutch at the minute, I haven't upgraded my pedals, um, but I do uh, map the button, uh, which we'll get to shortly. This is also on the TX wheel, um, but I'll also cover the spider wheel as well um, because they're very set up very similar. Uh, so you want 0, 100, 0, 100, 0, 100, 0, 100, 0, 100, which sets up everything that you need to do on there. The vibration scale and the force feedback scale I've got at 70. Not sure if I might add a little extra into that. Um, I quite like um, a fairly firm feel to the car when I'm when I'm driving. Um, I know uh, others uh, do like it quite loose, so they have that down a little bit more. But I I like to kind of not fight with the wheel, but almost feel like I've got some resistance there when I'm getting into the tight corners, um, just so it stops me from oversteering and things. And then lastly, something that I've been playing around with, and again seen on a few forums, uh, is setting. This particular wheel the TX wheel uh, to 540 and that stops the control from the wheel from being too twitchy uh, so if you're finding you are getting a lot of oversteer or it's just a bit too sensitive bang this down to 540 and it works really really well I haven't changed anything on the actual wheel in terms of the sensitivity on there I've just changed it on here and that works fine and then obviously I've pressed mode and a to map the uh, the auto clutch so when I change gear it's automatically uh, pressing that A button as well to change gear uh, something else that uh, a couple of people um, such as Coleman has had an issue with uh, is the crunching the gears a lot. I've done some testing with this uh, and what I've found is if you press the paddle too quick, um, so if you're literally clicking it to change gear um, within a millisecond, you'll crunch the gears. So if you just take an extra millisecond, just almost take the time to change the gear, it'll actually engage the clutch. Uh, I don't know if that is... Um, Oh. oh, you're all a bit because my uh, phone just went off. Sorry about that. Um, uh, so when you when you're engaging it, it's almost if you if you tap the uh, the up or down, mainly the up, too quick, uh, it will it, it doesn't seem to engage the clutch fully, um, and that's when you crunch the gears. So if you literally just deliberately take just a, a second longer or just a few milliseconds longer, and you'll find that it will rev up a little bit more um, and, and you'll change gears a lot smoother and hopefully that'll help you if you are running simulation or any 
uh, endurance races as well and it will stop you crunching your gears a lot and obviously uh, make sure you map that A button and on the spider wheel it's both paddles and A and that will map that for you. On the spider wheel uh, I would go with the recommended settings which you had for Forza 5 which is having it on sensitivity 3 or sensitivity 4 depending on what you want on there and check out my previous videos uh, on how to do that um, I think it was both paddles uh, and a direction button I think I'd have to double check that um, but it should be exactly the same and I think your wheel rotation will stay as it is it's just the sensitivity that will change rotation for the uh, spider is something like 240 um, but anyway that's my uh, my controller options I've got for the wheel um, I hope this has helped you all out um, and I hope to see you in a race soon and I've got some building tunes coming your way I shall see you all soon